Wow, it was like I was just here not too long ago. Maybe yesterday, cough, cough. But yeah, it was like I was just walking through these golden archways saying, yeah, in a couple, in a couple months we should have, or in seven weeks we should start to have the, uh, maybe six weeks, I don't know. We should start having the IP banners up. <laughs> was just here yesterday, guys. What could I be doing back today now? I will tell you when we get into the park. So rumor now has it, Villain Con has gone into a team member preview. So that means if you're a Universal Land Resort team member, you're allowed to experience Villain Con today. And I want to say probably all this week. So once they get the feedback from all the team members, then yeah, they might go into a soft opening and then they'll make the grand opening day for when it's supposed to open up. So I'm not sure exactly where the team members are going to be at, but we'll see. I think we will walk around the park too as well to see if there is anything new for Halloween Horror Nights as well, I guess. There's two yesterday though. There she is. Walls are indeed still up for the attraction. So again, I'm not sure exactly where the main entrance, where the team members are heading into. But yeah, here she is. I can tell you now, I can actually hear the uh, video spear going on in there as well. So I have, hold on. Made my way over by Transformers. The rain has started coming back down again. And wow, oh wow. Here's your entrance into the ride. They are extending as much as they can. I would hit two. It says it's 35, but I doubt it. That's more than like, I would say that's about like a 45 to an hour wait for Transformers. I'm like this. Horror Nights. We're going to make our way back over to the main path that go through New York as well. Excuse me a second. I chose to walk past Transformers just to see. Oh, yeah. Even on top of Mel still. And Mel's is still closed. I don't know exactly when it's supposed to be opening, but it's still down for refurbishment. So I'm not sure if the hyper on Minions Cafe has gone down, but... Wait times seem to be dropping down now. Uh, if you guys are coming to Halloween Horror Nights and you guys want to eat at Minions Cafe, unfortunately, it is mobile order only. So if that would take time out of your day, I would recommend station a different restaurant like Mel's Dining, just to give you guys that time and space. And now we're gonna make our way to New York. Kit. I can see new things already in New York. So just hanging out a smoking second real quick. And I want to show you guys, see on top of the buildings here, they finally added all the lighting, or starting to add lighting for uh, the scare zone in the streets of New York. Very cool to start to see that. Still, uh, I don't see any pops, but let's get into the streets of New York now, take a look. And I'm gonna guess they've always been there. Maybe there might be one or two new lights over here as well, but nothing new or special, but these are all new. In the video that I did yesterday, I had to do a voiceover. You can start to see that there is plenty of wiring just hiding all throughout here for that. Nothing really too new or special. And again, here are the close-up on the lights that I showed you guys are by smoking section as well. Okay, nothing too special. But it's just this one roof right now. And nothing really yet. And nothing really nothing really too new yet that i can see on the rest of the building so i'd say about a week we come back out here and then we take another good look at it oh what the so now as we enter the streets of san francisco we can see lighting trust up and all throughout the area now now remember yesterday when we were here there's a lot of Lighting trust and post right next to Lombard's and the bakery. I wonder if that's what these lighting trusts are for, but now, as we can see. There we go. 
I didn't think they were going to start in this care zone until a couple weeks way out, but yeah, they have started. Even just right out there, right next to the Fast and Furious. But still no true props. So from yesterday, you can see that this sliding truss, or entrance to the bar is still here. Oh, look at that end of all the pilings for sliding truss to even here as well are still available. So that means in San Francisco, they did this overnight. Very cool to see that. Very new to see something like that happening to the parks. So now we're gonna go ahead and just about bypass basically everything just right over there there's nothing really too new even with the house that's sitting right there so it's good. well it's like right now it's nice sunny over here but there yeah not so much oh focus entering central park Let's see what we can see Let's see if anything new has been added i can say already nothing really new too much has been added yet. I am looking for also fog machines as well, but I think once they start to bring out props and all that fun stuff, then we'll start seeing like smoke machines as well come out. Right of Central Park. Nothing really too new. Special fancy. More lighting. Lighting trust from yesterday is still up and about here in the streets of Hollywood. On one side, if I do get under over here, it does look like as well that lighting trust have begun to show up and pop up over here as well so very cool to see now both sides of the sheets of hollywood up props being set up Oh, more like more lighting post and trust happening right over here as well now too oh shoot i just slipped in the pedal that's really cool to see 